For today's podcast, we're going to focus on a 53-man roster projection for your Minnesota Vikings heading into the 2020 season. We'll start on offense first. Quarterback, obviously, Kirk Cousins. He is your starter. And in the season where the theme is continuity, damn it, for your Minnesota Vikings, I think your backup quarterback will remain Sean Mannion just because of experience and yada, yada, yada that we all went through last year with this guy. That's why a couple of live streams ago, I can't remember, someone asked me along the lines of who's going to be the backup quarterback? Is it going to be Sean Mannion? Is it going to be Jake Browning? Is it going to be Nate Stanley? And I say it's going to be Sean Mannion just of how the coaches feel about him, even though he's not very good of a football player on the field all the intangibles all the things that you can't see so Sean Manny he's going to be your backup quarterback we now move to running back in which case I think they're going to keep four guys on the roster Dalvin Cook Alexander Madison Mike Boone who I hope to see a lot more of PT wise especially in third and long situations and CJ Ham, even though he's technically a fullback now I know they just re-signed Tony Brooks James not that long ago I don't think he makes the roster and maybe you can consider this a surprise cut I don't really think it will be all that much of a surprise if it happens but I don't think Amir Abdullah makes the roster either at this point when he first came onto the scene with the Detroit Lions I thought to myself oh this dude could be something special certainly a fantasy warrior in fantasy football but it at this point in time in his career the one value that he holds now is a return specialist and at this point the Vikings have so many different options to go with in that regard. So I don't think he makes the roster. We now go to wide receiver where you've got Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson. Obviously, he's your first round draft selection. Uh, BC Johnson has had a very strong training camp. Alexander Hollins, he's been making some noise as well. But then also we talked about in the last category how the Vikings have multiple options at their disposal for return specialists. Talking about Amir Abdullah, Chad Beebe is one of them along with KJ Osborne. Now, I think at this point in time, just because of experience and because I think he's a little bit better of a receiver if you need to plug and play him in for a couple of snaps, I think Chad Beebe will make the roster over a KJ Osborne, which is okay. I just don't want the Vikings to lose sight of Courtney Davis. Courtney Davis can play. The way he moves, the way he makes his break on his routes, it's much like Stefan Diggs. I'm telling you right now, don't lose track of this guy. If he makes the I haven't heard much about him. If he makes the roster, I'm ecstatic. If not, keep him on the practice squad no matter what. And this wouldn't even be a surprise cut to me, but Tajay Sharp, I predicted this all along especially with their draft and how they went with their undrafted free agents. I just don't see Tajay Sharp making this team. We now move to tight ends. You've got Kyle Rudolph, Irv Smith Jr., Tyler Conklin. He's expect I expect him to make the team. I've always liked his athletic ability, Tyler Conklin. It's just the only issue I've ever had with him is just securing the football, needs to get better hands. He'll make the team, at least I expect him to anyway. We now move to offensive tackle. You're starting left tackle and right tackle, Riley Reef and Brian O'Neill. Rashad Hill has always been a nice safety blanket for an emergency situation. If one of your tackles go out, I think he's a solid tackle to come in off the bench. Oli Udo is a nice prospect to work with, maybe even in the interior side. Ezra Cleveland, he's not going to start. I'm okay with that. Just work this man at left tackle, his natural position. He's going to make the team interior offensive lineman. You've got Garrett Bradbury at center. Looks like the Vikings, they're still going to roll with Elf on the shelf, Pat Elf line this time at right guard, in which case I'm like, all right, man, you, you're really determined to keep squeezing out every last drop of this toothpaste out of the tube, aren't you? So, all right, lastly, uh, for the rest of the interior O-line, Drew Samia, Dakota Dozier, Aviante Collins, and Brett Jones. I don't think if you've got any commentary, any players that I'm missing, somebody that needs to be cut out of this roster that I projected, let me know in the comments section below. We now move on to defense. Defensive end, Daniel Hunter, Fetty Odenabo, Jalen Holmes, Eddie Yarbrough for the fact that while Daniel Hunter has not been practicing, Eddie Yarbrough, he's been getting snaps at the one in camp. So that says a lot. If if you're getting snaps at the one, even if you're not expected to be a starter, that means the coaching staff thinks highly of you and you're at least going to make it on the roster. At least that's how I see it. And lastly, DJ won them just because Andre Patterson loves him so much, even though I think the, the, 
the biggest issue I have with DJ Wanham, and of course you can work on his technique, maybe he'll get better. He's a rookie. I'm not going to eat his lunch for that. The issue I have with DJ Wanham is I think at this point, like if he was to get playing time in the 2020 season, He's more effective when he has space. So if we were to run a 3-4 set, he could be an outside linebacker where he could get some space to get his speed up and try to burst his way around the offensive tackle without having to engage him. In a 4-3 defense at the NFL level, he just gets... I just see him getting pushed around a lot. But Andre Patterson likes him so much. One of the best defensive line coaches in the league. We'll roll with it. Next, we're going to go to interior defensive line. Shamar Stefan, he's going to make the team. He's going to play nose tackle. I really hope we have a nose tackle by committee situation this year because the biggest concern I have is what we saw last year in 2019 where it was just open season in the middle of the D-line. I think we're going to see the same situation again. Michael Pierce, he opted out. I respect his decision, especially because he's high risk with the pandemic going on. He's going to make the team. Shamar Stefan, nose tackle. Armand Watts, Jaleel Johnson. James Lynch, and Hercules Mata'afa. That's what I've got in the interior D-line. Linebacker core, Anthony Barr, Eric Kendricks, Eric Wilson, Troy Dye. Look out for this dude to make some noise. He Really a hybrid linebacker safety type of player. Either way, he's the future of this, one of the future pieces of this defense for the Minnesota Vikings. And Hardy Nickerson is going to make the team, I think, if nothing else, for depth to replace Ben Gideon's spot while he's on the pup list. Once Ben Gideon is healthy to be activated on the roster, I think the corresponding move is the Vikings, they'll likely cut Hardy Nickerson. We now move to the secondary cornerback. I've got six guys there. Holton Hill, Mike Hughes, Cam Dantzler, Jeff Gladney, Navelle Clark, and Chris Boyd. Those are the six guys I have on the roster. Harrison Hand, maybe he makes the practice squad. Very raw prospect coming out of Temple. If Mike Zimmer can't get anything out of you now, maybe down the road. So I just don't see him making the roster. We now move to safety to finish the defense. Harrison Smith, Anthony Harris. Depth chart talk, I think Josh Metellus is your number three safety, especially because based off the fact that he's done a couple of snaps with the ones, one of the catches that was broadcasted, the highlighted catches of Adam Thielen that was broadcasted along the social media platforms of the Minnesota Vikings was on Josh Metellus, who had really good coverage on Thielen, despite the catch by Thielen. I think, and I talked about this after I reviewed his tape, Josh Metellus seems to me like a younger version of Andrew Sandejo. He can lay the wood. I mean, he can hit your ass off, but safe, uh, coverage is a little bit suspect. I think Miles Dorn is a better overall prospect than Josh Metellus talking about safety and everything that you want from a safety. But either way, I think Miles Dorn will be your number four safety. So that finishes it for the offense and the defense. As far as specialists are concerned, Dan Bailey, he'll be your kicker. Uh, Britton Colquitt, he'll be your punter again. And Austin Cutting will be your long snapper. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Am I missing somebody? Who would you take out from the roster that I projected and replace with? We do this at least once a week. Mediocre at Best Sports Podcast with Realistic Randy. Check me out on Twitter at Realistic underscore Randy. Facebook at Realistic Randy. We'll see you next week. Hey, by the way, did you see yesterday Luka Doncic with that step back game when it three? Uh, 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 uh. Two-two series, baby. Let's go. We'll see you next time. We'll be right back.